the Holy Spirit spoke to me to use Job chapter 5, verse 12 to pray for you. He says, He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Let us pray. Almighty God, I pray for this listener. I ask, Lord, that in your mercy, in your power, you will intervene and step into the affairs of this person. O Lord, arise as the Lord of hosts and fight the enemies and fight the battles confronting this person. I pray, Lord, that every scheming, every strategy, every devices of the enemy against this person will be frustrated in Jesus' mighty name. And every hands of witchcraft that are stretched forth against the life of this person, let the hands dry up. Let the hands weeded in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for answering. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. We are waiting to hear your testimony because the Lord spoke to me to use that particular scripture to pray for you, and I know it has a purpose for it. Well, testimonies are coming from our listener all over the world. It's because of constraint of time that we do not share all the testimony all the time. But let me read the chart of one of our listener that contains his testimony. It reads, Praise the Lord. Just now I got to, I got this appointment letter as legal advisor to a company. I am in their reception area about to go home. This is the first time ever in my 23 years legal career I'm getting this offer. My mates have 10 to 15 companies they work for. Why I can only pray and hope to God be the glory. I will pay a thanksgiving offering soon. I pray that the devil does not snatch this from me. The company vice chairman told me he had to shortlist me from among several other lawyer applications. applicants. He didn't know me from Adam. He said his spirit kept directing him to go for me and was happy to see me in person today. I am assured and I assured him I won't disappoint by God's grace. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God because of your testimony. And as the Lord of Israel lives, no devil will snatch this opportunity from you. Rather, more doors will open to you. And the greater doors will open to you in Jesus' mighty name. The siege over your progress is completely destroyed in Jesus' mighty name. Did you hear that? Let's hear your testimony also. The impact that this ministry is having upon your life as we pray for you, as you're listening to the word of knowledge, prophetic word, interpretation of dreams, and the messages. Chat us, narrate your testimony. And did you hear him also? He has already sent his thanksgiving offering. That is exactly what you should do. Anytime God shows you mercy. Well, moments ago, while I was still praying, the Holy Spirit gave me revelation about the lives of some of our listeners. Someone is there listening to me. You are strongly addicted to pornography and masturbation. It has gotten so worse that even your private part, your manhole, has a wound. As a result of it. Okay, you are the one. Let me pray for you. Almighty God, you are the great deliverer. Have mercy upon this person. Every addiction to pornography and masturbation, I arrest and I bind the spirit. I rebook it and cast it to the dry land in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, by your mercy and power, heal this person also in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. It is done.
We are waiting to hear your testimony. Mm. Hear another prophetic word. Who is this lady? You have been in a sexual relationship with a man, and it's very obvious to you he is not serious in marrying you, yet you are very advanced in age. Hear the counsel of the Lord. Break that relationship. Repent genuinely from that sexual sinful life and get genuinely born again. The Lord will help you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Uh -uh. I just had the Holy Spirit spoke to my right ears regarding another lady. Mm. You are not yet married and you have been engaging in premarital sex. Indeed, you got pregnant some time ago and committed abortion over that pregnancy and it damaged your womb. Okay, you are the one. Lay your hands upon your abdomen. Lord in heaven, have mercy. Have mercy upon this lady. And in your mercy, Lord, please heal her womb. Heal her womb by your power in Jesus' mighty name. I should talk to you as a man of God and as a father, genuinely repent from such a life and make sure you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Give me a chat so that I can talk to you further. Well, I've told you several times, anytime you have a dream, don't ever ignore the dream. As soon as you wake up from the sleep, from the dream, just give me a chat, narrating the dream, and by the grace of God, freely, I will interpret your dreams to you. This is Charles Ade Bolas Ministries. Today is the third day we are on this teaching, Dreams Related to Marriage. Dreams Related to Marriage. Hmm. This one is a good one. When you dream, and in your dream you find yourself escorting your friend for a wedding shopping. Uh, you had a dream, you find yourself in the company of your friend, you are going for wedding shopping in preparation for your friend's wedding. The interpretation is a good one. It, it means you are likely to become a bridesmaid. Yes, you are likely to become a bridesmaid. And number two, it means you are rejoicing with someone about to wed. And so your wedding is also on the way coming. Romans chapter 12 verse 15 says, Rejoice with them that do rejoice. Did you hear that? So, when you are rejoicing with someone, rejoicing, it is a seed. You are sowing and it implies very soon you too will be celebrated. I will pray for you. Please do listen to this audio broadcast to all your contacts and to the WhatsApp group you belong to. And if it has been someone resending it to you, register directly with us for free so that we can be sending it more prompt to you. Anytime you want to register for free, just give us a chat on plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. By God's grace, it's about twelve midnight every day that we send our fresh broadcast. If it has not been delivered to your devices, by 6 a.m., it's most likely to be the network issues. Just give us a chat. You are not bothering us. It is our joy to have it resent to you. The ministry you are listening to, we are into massive work of evangelism. And we do solicit for your voluntary financial support. You don't have to be a multi-millionaire, nor a billionaire, before you can support this ministry. There are those who support us regularly with 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, and even more. Whichever one you can do, you have been appreciated. Your tithe is 10% of your income and of your profit. In Malachi 3.10, God gave a commandment with a promise to bless you when you pay your tithe. I want to encourage you to become a faithful tither to this ministry like we have several other people that are doing. Anytime you pray or you fast on any issues and the answers are not forthcoming, don't get discouraged. It could be that God wants you to add a biblical principle. I call it backing up your prayers with sacrificial seed faith offering. 
Sacrificial seed faith offering is an expression of your faith and desperation before God. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 says, God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. When you need the bank details to do any of this, give us a chat and plus two three four nine zero five nine two seven zero zero three zero. This other line is for you to reach me directly for prayers. Plus two three four eight zero six double three one nine three six four. Let me pray for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord will give you a reason to sing, to dance. Men and women will congratulate you. You will become a celebrant. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.